Hey, how you doing? I have an antique voltmeter to show you. All original, made in Germany. This is one of the first ever battery testers. That's pretty cool. So it tells you if a battery is working or not, correct? Correct. I was an electrician for a very short period of time, man, and I wasn't very good at it. You ain't good at anything, boy. <laughs> I'm here at a pawn shop today to sell my antique voltmeter. I like to sell it because I don't really have use for it. I'm looking to get $2,000 for the device. The least I'll take is $1,000. So how'd you get it? Uh, I was actually found in Barn in Germany. There's a date here on the case. It says 1916. I can see why it would be an important tool back then. I mean, it'd be used by just your regular electrician to, I mean, a guy who was working on planes. In its day, this was a very expensive tool. Being able to measure how much juice you had in the battery was really useful. It would keep it from cracking out on you in the middle of something important. Um, so you got a battery. Let's test yeah. it and see if it works. Let's test it. You're familiar with this device right here, right? Yes, I am. This is a multimeter. I know when you put a battery between the two ends of these meters, it creates an electrical current. The voltmeter then measures the voltage between the two points. Correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the measurement of a modern digital multimeter to this device to see if they compare in testing the battery. All right. As you can see, it shows 1.5 a little, you know, it's a digital, so it will be a little more accurate than this. So this, as you can see. At 1.5. 1.5 yeah. volt. A lot of care went into making this thing. I mean, it's almost 100 years later, and it's still working. But it doesn't have a ton of decorative value, and it's not like anybody's ever going to use it. So it'll only appeal to hardcore science collectors. What do you want to do with it? I want to sell it. Any idea of what you're looking to get? $2,000. Keep working. In a few years, it's going to be 100 years old. I want 1200 No. Come on now. Let's, uh, let's be realistic. Okay, what so you, let's hear... Give me a real number. No, let's hear what you have to offer. 400 bucks. You want it? Uh, no. I'll go up to 500 if you don't take it. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. I won't sell it. Have a good day, my man. I'm not disappointed. I'm sure it will find us home eventually.